Hello, good day and welcome to today's class. Today, we shall be looking at longitude and latitude. My name is Kabiru Abdul Kadir. So before we make further progress, it is very important for us to note the difference between latitude and longitude. Now, latitudes are imaginary lines drawn on the surface of the earth from the west to the east, while longitude, on the other hand, are imaginary lines drawn on the surface of the earth but from the north to the south before we make further progress let's look at great and small cycles now a great cycle has a large radi that's why we are using capital letter r that passes through the center of the cycle why a small cycle has radi small letter r that do not pass through the center so when you look at the diagram here, we have one great cycle and two small cycles. Now, how do we locate places on the Earth's surface? This is pretty simple. What you have to do to locate place is to determine your point of intersection between the longitude and then the latitude. We have a very good example here where they say location P is having 50 degree north and 80 degree east. Note that the 50 degree north is for latitude, while the 80 degree east is for longitude. So like I said, the first thing is for you to draw a cycle, then place your four cardinal points. Having done that, you now go and look for 50 degree north. You go to north, that's latitude, you draw. Now 80 degree east you that is longitude you go to east and then draw your longitude there so the point of intersection between the latitude and the longitude now forms location p now angles between two places on the earth's surface now there are two things we need to always take note of one at the degrees of longitude if one is east and the other is west now subtract the degrees of the longitude if the two are in the same direction. That is either east or west. Let's look at a very good example. We have location X with 40 degree north and 60 degree east. And location Y is having 40 degree north and 70 degree west. The first thing we have to do is to draw our cycle. Place our four cardinal points. Draw our Greenwich Meridian. Then the next thing now is to start putting all of them. We have 40 degree north, which is latitude. You draw. We have 60 degree east, which is longitude. You draw towards east. Now, location Y, we have 40 degree north. It's already there. You don't need to draw for the second time. Now, 70 degree west is longitude. You go to west and draw a longitude there. Now, you can see that the longitude are 60 degree east and 70 degree west. East and west are not the same location. So, what you do is to add the two of them. So you have 130 degrees, which you use as your angle. Now, having done that, then we need to also look at distances on small and great cycles. We have two formulas here. We have small cycle formula and then great cycle formula. Now, let's look at the small cycle formula. The distance is theta over 360 times 2 pi small letter r. Now, the small letter r is standing for capital letter R, R cos alpha. Let's look at the meaning of this R cos alpha. Now, R, small r is standing for radius of the parallel of latitude. Capital R is standing for radius of the earth. Then the alpha is standing for common latitude. Note that the value of R, that's capital R, has been calculated to be 6,400 by scientists. Now, when I look at great cycle formula, the distance is theta over 360 times 2 pi r. So the difference between small cycle and great cycle is the r. Why small cycle is having small letter r, great cycle is having capital letter r. So let's look at how we can solve one example. Let's say find the distance between A. A is having 50, 56 degrees south and 80 degrees east and b 65 degree north and 80 degree east now take your pi to be 3.142 which is a constant and then take your r to be 6400 kilometer is also another constant so what we'll do now is to first of all 
draw a cycle, place our four cardinal points. Then the next thing is to draw our Greenwich Meridian. Then we'll start placing these values. Now 50, 56 degrees south is a latitude. You draw your 56 degrees south here. Now 80 degrees east is a longitude. You draw your 80 degrees east here. Now B, 65 degrees north is a latitude. You go and draw your 65 degrees north there. Then we have 80 degrees east. It's already there. You don't need to draw for the second time. So the intersection between your longitude and your latitude are now connected towards the center because this is a great cycle. How do we know it is a great cycle? Because the longitudes are the same and not the latitude. Where the latitude are the same, then you have a small cycle. Where the longitude are the same, then you have a great cycle, which means we are going to add the difference in latitude will be theta is equal to 56 degree plus 65 degree, which is 121 degree. So we'll bring the formula for great cycle, and it is distance AB is theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Our theta is 121, our pi is 3.142, and then our radius of the earth is 6400. So by the time you multiply all the numerator, you have this value. Then the denominator, you have this value, 360. So by the time you divide the two of them, you have 13,517.6 kilometers. Approximately, we have 13,518 kilometers. We have another example here. They say two points. That's point P and point Q. Point P is 32 degree north and then 47 degree west. And then point Q is 32 degree north and 28 degree east are on the surface of the earth. Now, given that your pi is 3.142 and your r radius of the earth is 6,400 kilometers, calculate Roman 1, the radius of the parallel of latitude, Roman 2, the distance between P and r. So the first thing you have to do is to draw a cycle, place your four cardinal points, north, south, west, and east. Now you come and start placing all these values. 32 degree north is for latitude, you draw. Now 47 degree west is for longitude, you draw. Now 32 degree north is already drawn there, yeah? so you don't need to draw for the second time. Now 28 degree east, you draw your 28 degree east, which is a longitude. So the point of intersection between the longitudes and the latitude now form the angle as you can see here. So the next thing you have to do is to take note of the longitudes. You can see that they are of different locations. One is west, while the other one is east, which means we are going to add up the degrees. And when we add, we'll have 75 degrees. Now we have common latitude here. Because you have common latitude, then you should know that you are going to use a small cycle formula, which is theta over 360 times 2 pi small letter r. But you need to know small letter r. And the formula for knowing small letter r is capital letter r cos alpha. r cos alpha. Your r is known to be 6,400 kilometer and yen cos alpha. Alpha is common latitude, which is 32. By the time you do the calculation, you have your r to be uh, 55,428 kilometer. So having known your R, the next thing is for you to come and bring down your formula for calculating the distance PQ. And then it is theta over 360 times 2 pi small r. You have your small r already. So you have your theta to be 75 over 360 times 2 pi. Pi is 3.142 times cos 32. So by the time you do, you multiply the numerators, you have these values, and then you divide by the denominator, you have 7,105 kilometers. That's the distance between P and Q. So, having done these two, I believe you are now set to do a very short assignment here. Now, it is given that the earth has a radius of 6,400 kilometers and pi is 3.142. Calculate the distance between each of the following pairs of location. 
A, we have location C is having 23 degree north and 48 degree east. And location D is having 86 degree north and 46 degree east. Now, question B is location Y is having 0 degree north and 67 degree west. And location Z is having 0 degree north and 67 degree east. Thank you for your time. Thank you.